Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this video. In my Elementor extension series, today I'm going to take you through an amazing tool called the Plus Add-ons for Elementor, which I think is actually a nice tool you can use to build your Elementor website that comes bundled with a couple of widgets and blocks, even templates that you can use in your projects when building websites with Elementor. Enjoy the video. To get started, the Plus Add-ons actually have a number of widgets. Uh, there are over 80 widgets that you can simply drag and drop in your Elementor website. And the beauty is that they also have a free plugin that you can find within the WordPress repository. Install it for free and get started even without the premium version. Some of these widgets include those essential widgets, the creative widgets, plus sections, plus headers. You know, like these are just categories on how they just wanted to put them together but the idea is for example under the plus header you have the navigation builder the breadcrumb builder the mobile menu horizontal mega menu vertical mega menu and vertical toggle menu and if you go like to the creative side you have the advanced typography advanced buttons advertising banner animated separators and a lot more but in this case i just want to take you through those that i think you guys would find interesting but before we go there if we come under the plus listing we have these kind of other sections that we can use to build up blog posts who products testimonials dynamic listings and then image gallery team members and a lot more these actually come with kind of uh, demo sections that you can use or you can get started with in your elementor website and on the plus extras you have column extras global options and special features for example under the global options you can make conditional rules you can do global continuous effects global special overly color global tooltip and on the other hand you can have you know the column width you can set the custom media query breakpoints you can set mouse cursor icons and on the special features, there is one that I actually found interesting, which is the white label. You can have the plus add-on white labeled within your Elementor or your client website. And they will never know about the plus add-on themselves. They will just know whatever name you give it, or it can be your agency or the team you are working with. And then the plus design, this is where you can get pre-made templates from the plus add-on that you can use within your Elementor website for free. That is once you have the subscription from them. And then you also have over 300 user interface blocks you can get started with when you're creating your WordPress website, which I find interesting. At least I've reviewed a couple of other add-ons. A number of them don't have templates or demos that you can get started with when you're creating your Elementor website. Down here, they categorize actually their main widgets as essentials, creative sections, tabbed adaptive headers elements and scroll elements and a lot more but now let's just dive straight into the section number one which are the widgets here they say they have 80 plus elementor widgets you can get started with in your elementor website or project there are those plus essentials plus creative plus sections plus tabbed plus adapted plus header and plus scroll to get started with the uh, essentials they have these normal ones that you see with a number of other add-ons protected content you have the navigation menu and then you have the login sign up or even forgot password widget that you can use within your elementor website so now when we open up the search bar which is also under the widgets when you have this widget enabled in your elementor website this is how it will look like search bar and you can style everything within in here the typography the button see how this looks like same here and then the protected content widget see if someone wants to access for example a blog post or a page that you protect using a password you simply just have to protect that content with that password and then that person will be in position to enter the password that you provide with them and they will access that piece of content and you can do it and it may look something like this or even this and then you are good to go next is a navigation menu For example this is the navigation bar see how this looks like 
look at this this is nice and then on hover sub menu then a, a vertical navigation which I actually think looks nice you may also create something like this you can create some things like this yeah and that's how that looks like next is a login sign up or even password field box or widget see how that looks like you can create this using the plus add-ons and you simply just have to enable that feature right in here in your elementor website once the plus add-on is activated you can even get this work like kind of a dashboard or a login interface for visitors to your elementor website see how this looks like this is a section you can simply create and then you simply add this widget that's how that looks like next is when we go to the plus creatives we have the before after you know this is like the comparison the image comparison uh, widget then we have animated text we have smooth scroll these i think you've seen them in other extensions then we have the off canvas which you can actually use to create off canvas menus dynamic device advertising banner hotspot stop pinpoint uh, this we also saw in the previous add-ons advanced typography i think here we can look at this the before or after see how this looks like this is very simple you simply just have to enable the widget or add the widget to your elementor canvas and add the two images that you want to compare and you are good to go it can even be vertical see how this is coffee coffee beans yeah and that's how that works like when we go down here to the plus sections we can set a row background parallax background segment background video background special backgrounds if you actually uh, checked out my video on how to create video backgrounds in elementor you've seen how to actually use elementor 2.7 and above to create video backgrounds or to add video backgrounds to your elementor sections then we even have a canvas background so we'll look at these two so the video background see how this looks like really beautiful you can have some things like this these others and of course you can add a number of other elements or section just on top of this main section and of course uh, for every widget that you come and check out on the plus add-on they also give you the widget name down below here so this is called the raw background or you can actually find it up here the video background or the row background widget next is now the canvas shock the particles background this is not available in elementor so i think this would be a nice addition for you who is looking up or looking forward to have something like this actually this is amazing just the way it was saying here see how that looks like wow special canvas style collection yeah, so you could consider checking this out anytime soon next is called it plus tabbed like content switcher the accordion tab tours these we have seen in other extensions if you want to look at them you simply just come over here and check them out the plus adapt mailchimp subscription contact form 7 google map wp forms these are basically styling up those contact forms and making changes with the buttons here we can actually create headers and navigations using the plus header widget or element then we have the breadcrumb the mobile menu horizontal mega menu i think i can look into this and also look into this so when we open up the horizontal mega menu widget so here they say our mega menu for elementor is one of the top and biggest mega menus for elementor it has vertical and horizontal options and on top of that it has indicator and icon options for the navigation by simply adding this section to your elementor website you can create some things like this so this is the header and then you have a mega menu here enabled or mega menu option added to this this can be sections you create with your elementor website see how this look like okay see how this look like 
So if you've actually not watched my tutorial on how to create free mega menus in Elementor in case you're not going to get the plus add-ons, check it up here in the cards so that you can follow it up. I basically made a video whereby you can create mega menus in Elementor without necessarily having to buy a plugin. But if you want to get a couple of widgets uh, from the plus add-ons, I think the mega menu would also come in handy. Okay, so that's how that looks like and there's also a video on how you can actually set up that horizontal and vertical mega menu from the plus add-ons. Next we have to look into is the header stock navigation builder, which is kind of the same similar thing, but I think you get the idea right here. They basically show you how you can build up your headers and navigations for your Elementor website. We go to the next section, which is the plus crawl. So when we check out the full page and maybe also the page tiling and maybe the mouth scroll 30 stroke 70, we see how this looks like. So this is the full page. So the moment you scroll, a full page will show up. So just scroll once and the full page shows up. I think I like this, looks nice. And the next one, is called the multi scroll 50 50. This is multi scroll 50 50. Awesome! So, these are actually specifically sections that you create and you enable this multi scroll effect, and then you enable this multi scroll widget in your Elementor website. Next is the 30 70. So, this is the 30, this is the 70 section okay i'm basically scrolling up and down i have only three options here and in case you want any of these widgets or in case you want to use any of this in your elementor website you simply just have to come here to plus add-ons i'm going to leave a link down in the description that you can use to come over here to the plus add-ons which is actually my affiliate link and if you use it and purchase anything from the plus add-ons for elementor you are not charged an extra buck, but I receive a small commission on a single purchase that you make. If we look into the pricing for the plus add-ons, uh, they have like two options. They have the yearly and the lifetime plans. And for the yearly plan, you have a $39 per year for one website. And you have 80 plus elemental widgets, 300 plus ready to use blocks that I'm actually going to show you a little bit in a while. And then 18 plus website templates then you have a single site license one year of updates and a lot more other things but here there's something called a 30 day money payback guarantee in case you're not comfortable or you don't like their service you simply can just reclaim your money the other one is 79 dollars per year which comes with three enabled websites or a license for three websites then the other one which is unlimited for unlimited websites it is 99 dollars per year here they say it is cut down from 119 dollars and of course you have the same features but here you can use it on unlimited number of websites but if you look into the lifetime plan for a single site license you'll pay 89 dollars for a lifetime and this means you'll be getting updates upgrades you even have unlimited staging sites you have localhost activation which is free and you have lifetime customer support which is amazing and then a 30 day money payback guarantee all these apply to all the packages but what changes are the number of websites or licenses that you have here for the three websites you'll be paying 199 dollars and for the unlimited websites you'll pay 349 dollars for a lifetime Anyway, that's it. Let's get back to our plus add-ons for Elementor. And now when we go to the plus listings, here they say a collection of listing options such as Grid Builder. There are also options for messy columns and other advanced layout structures. You can connect your WordPress themes, custom post types, or use these plugins posts. So for example, we have categories from blog posts, testimonials, image galleries, client logos, team members, Woo products. But I think I'll take you through just a couple of these, just not to make this video too long for you. So when we come over here to the blog post filter, you realize that we'll have some kind of a tabbed blog post filter whereby we can simply click 
own a blog post or a category that we want to view and boom it shows up right here so that's how that looks like i think i like the design of these blog posts or the styles see how this looks like click on the filter and there you go the same applies for these others so you can simply get these widgets right into your elementor website and you get started creating your blog post archive pages next we have the metro blogs look at this see how this looks like see how that looks like really beautiful this is another section you can simply just use within your Elementor website. Boom. And that's how that looks like. Next is a grid blogs. Here they say premium blog post showcase tool with various listing styles, layouts, and hover animations and, and customization options for WordPress using Elementor. For example, here we have the style one for grid, style two, for the grid style three i think i'm in love with this one style four and that's it now i'm jumping over to the next section which is a testimonial i think i loved one type of testimonial there is style three and i think we'll also look at the messy columns so there is style three for the testimonial that's how it looks like style three a you have here your testimonial heading title image message location of the client we have the style for look at this we have this i think i like this center mode options you can even just click over here over here and then we also have the messy columns which is this kind of messy but looks nice next we can look into the image gallery like they are kind of similar to each other but of course the animations and the stylings look way different there is also the client logos you can display them on your elementor website using a couple of you know widgets provided by the plus add-ons for elementor there's also the team members widgets that you can use you have different design styles the grid these all others including the filter and the center mode the other interesting one is for the woocommerce product you have the product style i think i'll show up this on the woo products you have this style one look at the products prices style two style three sapphire so column and then on the other hand you have this style style three two have this sort you have this one oh i think i like this effect yeah and how these look like and then the products pagination or who product pagination you see how this looks like yeah so you can even add pagination to your who product widget in your elementor website and then we have the dynamic listings i think i will show you the magazine filter so here we can have our magazine and we can filter our content based on the categories or what we set up here. See how that looks like. And then there is this. So you can simply create a complete magazine by using the plus add-ons from Elementor. So you can have this as your home page section and you have even the sidebars over here. And you have this kind of layout or content showcase on your home page next we can look into the custom loop skin builder so you have a single custom skin plus the grid you can build up something like this you can also build up that you can also build up this based on how you want your posts to look like on your elementor website don't forget that these are actually dynamic widgets and in case you want to see how to get started building these dynamic widgets there's actually a video for that here on the plus add-on website after the dynamic listings we are going to look into the plus extras here they say advanced global plus extra options for elementor you can add column extras you can add global options special features 
for example in the column extras you can add custom media query breakpoints you can create columns with different widths and then you can set up column ordering in devices and then the sticky column add a back end hidden opacity mouse cursor icon so i'm not going to go into details for these specific widgets but i hope you get an idea on what actually the plus add-ons has in stock and then there is something called the special features for example like uh, the row section scroll animation and then the white label let me show you this white label one and then i can show you the row section scroll animation for the white label like i said you can change the name of the plus add-ons for elementor plugin so that no one will ever know whatever or what who is the provider of these widgets you are using in your elementor website so this is what they say white label the plus add-ons with your or client's identity for example update the plugin name update plugin description update developer name update plugins website url update the name in the dashboard and a lot more the other one is a row stroke the section full scroll animation so check how that looks like so it is a full section animation for your Elementor website. Someone may actually be scrolling down, but only when the section is rotating. Okay, see how that looks like. That said, we can now go into the plus add-on templates, blocks that you can use for your Elementor website. We have page templates. We can have a look, see how these look like. Uh, I think they are pretty well-made templates for Elementor. You can simply just import this into a blank page using Elementor and get started. They have agency templates, they have corporate templates, they have business ones, they have design studios. And if we go into the 300 plus UI blocks, there is uh, widgets for pages, there are hero sections, main content, creative content, features, call to action, subscribe, uh, which are actually coming soon. These are actually blocks for subscribing. So now let me show you maybe for the main content. So you see how the widget pages look like. These are actually sections or widgets you can simply import into your Elementor website. Like the whole of this. And do a little bit of customizations. Okay. Just like the whole of this. Like the whole of this. The whole of this too. And you can get started. When I show you now for example the hero section. So these are all hero sections that you can simply get from the plus add-ons template section and you get started creating your websites using these beautifully made hero sections from the plus add-ons. See how this look like. This is nice. I think you guys can check this out. So anyway, that's it. That was a quick walkthrough from the plus add-ons for Elementor, which I think is actually an amazing plugin. I think it is a kind of a full packed add-on for Elementor whereby you have templates to use, you have widgets, you have uh, UI blocks that you can get started to build your Elementor website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it brought you a ton of value and that now you have an idea of what you can actually get from the plus add-ons for Elementor and get started building your WordPress websites. And in case there's something I missed out in this video, please uh, let me know in the comment box below. And in case you want me to review a specific tool or you want me to make a video about something in particular, also let me know in the comment box below i'll be happy to know that otherwise if you're new to this channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out and also if you like this video please hit the like button and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video